Today is June 9th, 2021. My name is Charles Souter, and today I'm presenting the last of my series called The Power of Mind, Focus on Mental Health. This may be one of my most important presentations to date. So pay attention. Your mind is a powerful source for mental health. People are frequently exposed to negative, hurtful situations. They're frequently indoctrinated with misinformation, and they frequently misconstrue reality in such a way that their reactive self-talk turns negative. Negative self-talk can have a deleterious effect on the subconscious mind, which just happens to be the brain, body's gatekeeper and custodian of all of a person's memories, habits, knowledge, and beliefs. The subconscious mind absorbs all conscious thoughts, and if the same thoughts are repeated often enough, the subconscious mind then begins interpreting reality and influencing the body's automatic responses as if the dominant thoughts were true. For this reason, the conscious mind must exercise careful control over its thoughts to protect its own mental health. Ruminating, obsessing over past hurts, disappointments, and losses is the worst thing a person can do and very detrimental to their mental health. This presentation offers suggestions on how to use your mind to maintain and restore your mental health should there be a buildup of negativity in the subconscious mind causing irrational, erroneous, and distorted beliefs which can then result in reoccurring bouts of mental distress. Proposition 1. The mind is a source for maintaining and restoring mental health. Where the problems begin? Well, they begin in the brain body, in particular the subconscious mind, because it's prone to erroneous thinking and at risk of mental disorders. The brain body sometimes drifts away from rational thinking. To maintain mental health, the conscious mind must periodically restore its own sanity. Without periodic maintenance, most everything in life, natural and man-made, begins to, te to deteriorate and misfire. The brain body is no different. People, too, will begin to deviate from mental health if they are exposed to too much negativity in life events and if this negativity is not handled well. Negativity and mental distress, combined with a weakened self-esteem, are the prime reasons so many people's mental health begin to decline. You will know if your mental health is beginning to deteriorate if you, one, engage in frequent negative self-talk, two, suffer from too much emotional distress, that's negative emotions, and three, your actions seem to cause more problems than they solve. The key to maintaining mental health is to continually counsel yourself with a stream of positive affirmations induced by auto-suggestion. Proposition 2. Beliefs in the brain body, that's the subconscious mind, strongly influence the conscious mind. The subconscious mind often makes mistakes in trying to make sense of reality. All memory, habits, knowledge, and beliefs are stored in the subconscious mind. Mental health declines when the subconscious mind is filled with erroneous beliefs. Good mental health begins with positive beliefs stored in the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is the place where all memories, habits, knowledge, and beliefs are stored. The subconscious mind is similar to the data storage in a computer, except it takes on the role of primary responder to unexpected and distressing situations with first response reactions and visceral emotions at least until the subconscious mind can wrestle back control and exert a counter-influence. The conscious mind is the master controller, but it's slower in response time. The subconscious mind, on the other hand, is much faster to respond to emergencies and stress-provoking situations. An errant subconscious mind can be a source of dysfunction if it has been improperly trained and not preloaded with positive beliefs and accurate information by the, sub, by the conscious mind. Thus, to develop a positive, supportive subconscious mind, you must continually monitor your random self-talk and take control whenever the situational tone shifts towards negativity. 
Furthermore, to ensure that the subconscious mind only contains positive and value-added beliefs and habits, you must continually feed the subconscious mind with value-added beliefs that support your life goals and positive mental health. You must program your subconscious mind with the right inputs to ensure you get the right outputs, just as you would program any computer, because the notions you put in, you will get back. Life-enhancing thoughts will ensure that the subconscious mind will respond automatically with life-enhancing responses. Proposition 3. The brain body gains sanity with rational thoughts induced by auto-suggestion. To maintain or restore your mental health, develop and repeat positive affirmations. 20 times daily, this may seem like a lot, but it's not that many, apply auto-suggestions to implement mentally healthy thoughts. Healthy thoughts reprogram the subconscious mind to a healthy state. Beginning immediately, whether you think you need it or not, start counseling yourself with positive thoughts so as to continually and intentionally program your subconscious mind with the possibility that it's supportive of the person you want to become. Do not wait until you're under fire from adversity and negative circumstances. Then it's too late. Auto-suggestion is the way to pre-program your subconscious mind so as to support the person you want to become and to live the way you want to live. Just keep reminding yourself that you're a good, deserving person with valuable skills and attributes worthy of living a good life. Auto-suggestions are nothing more than short positive phrases. I call these affirmations. And you can create your own based on the type of person and the life you want to live. You can recite these af affirmations in odd, odd moments when your mind is not otherwise engaged, such as in traffic or waiting, waiting for events. The more often you do this, the better fine-tuned your subconscious mind becomes in responding positively to any and all situations. You will know you're being successful if you suffer fewer and fewer bouts of mental distress and your life will recover faster from adversity. Flooding your subconscious mind with positive affirmations is an easy investment to make. It takes little effort that can be done in short intervals. It will pay handsome dividends in the long run by maintaining your positive mental health. To get best results from auto suggestions, you could take short meditative breaks and repeat the same or similar aff affirmations over and over, adding a little bit of emotional intensity and visualization whenever it's appropriate. The more you put into a daily effort to reprogram your mental health, the more you will gain over your lifetime. My final message, the mind has the power to maintain and restore mental health. The power of your conscious mind has many possibilities, as I've expressed during the presentations of this series, The Power of Mind, for improving your mind, including boosting the performance of your body restoring physical health, achieving goals, affecting change, and maintaining mental health. Prior conditioning of the subconscious mind via auto-suggestion helps prepare the body to respond positively to emergencies or to any life situation for that matter, and to obey without question the conscious mind when it takes over as the master controller. The earlier and the longer you apply auto-suggestion to construct positive, supportive neural networks in the brain body, the more automatically your, bo your body responds with appropriate right action and emotions when the situation demands it. In fact, the present course of your entire life can be completely altered by the power of, the, of your mind if you just start using it. That's all for now. Remember to stay positive. You'll be happier, healthier, and live longer.